All right, well, it's been a while since I've been up here in front of the camera. Uh, I think five years, actually. It's been that long. It has been a long and bumpy ride. I've had my fair share of encounters, um, whether it was due to self-filming complications or me passing deer. Um, and some of the deer that I passed, you know, I, I like to see them get to maturity that five, six, even if I'm not the one to kill them. Um, if a neighbor or friend kills them, you know, that's awesome. They kill them a big mature deer. Um, I like watching them get to their full potential and some of these deer that I passed just had people scratching their heads and and wondering why and some of them I look back at the footage and you know <laughs> wondering why I'm even out here if I'm not going to shoot a deer of that caliber but um, you know there's some deer that they need that other year to be an absolute world-class animal and uh, you know what, if it takes me passing a bigger buck than I've ever even shot with my bow to see it happen, I'd rather see it happen um, than shoot that immature deer. So, you know, that's, that's my thought on it. I just enjoy watching other people shoot big deer as much as I do. That's why, you know, I like being behind the camera. Um, this year has been awesome for Team Radical. We uh, have laid down some giant bucks and had some awesome experiences. Um, I went down with Chris and and help recover Uno with Kyle and uh, Chris, he got his two bucks and I went and took pictures with him. And I like doing those trophy shots for people, you know, to capture those memories. And now it's finally my turn. I, uh, I have sat oh, a total of probably 30 days this year, at least. Um, just after work, before work, you know, anytime I can. Um, Cell cameras this year definitely are the enemy, in my opinion. I mean, it makes you want to get out there every single day. Um, but it does help you pattern a little bit. But this deer that I shot, um, beautiful eight pointer, came up sneaking behind me. He, uh, I didn't have any pictures of this deer. Um, he was a new guy on the block. And, you know, I, I put a lot of time and effort into this 10 second moment is about to happen. All right, here we are December 14th and I'm wearing down. It, uh, it's been a really long season. We've had a heck of a year for Team Radical. The guys have done awesome. We've laid down some awesome bucks, awesome footage. But I have not, I've had some encounters, some missed opportunities. But, uh, favorite time to hunt is those late fawns are starting to come in and those last couple does that didn't get bred during the regular run it uh it's definitely more intense right now but it's a lot harder and uh especially because we don't have cold weather yet yet tonight is supposed to get pretty dang cold and you know, we're supposed to get five to seven inches of snow so I can finally hunt my beans, I hope, in the next couple days. But I came out tonight to see if I can uh, capitalize on a big eight pointer that we've had on camera. They've been locked down with the doe here around this stand for the past like day and a half. So hopefully, uh, hopefully they're not bedded too far away. And they, they want to run this creek tonight going out to some feed. But uh, I'm looking forward to the next oh, week or so of cold and snow, but uh, it's getting down to the wire, and I'm getting tired, so hopefully we can make something happen tonight, we'll see.
think I put a good shot on him. He looked a little low, though. I have to go back and look at the footage, but oh my god. He was so awesome. He stopped right at the top of that hill and he and he was crashing. I just heard crashing again. I think he just might have went down. Oh my god, that's such a nice bug. I've worked so so hard for this. This segment has been brought to you by Lone Wolf Tree Stands, your silent partner. Well, after talking with Kyle and Chris, we got that snow coming tonight. I decided, uh, after talking with them, that I needed to come see if I could find this deer because I wouldn't find any blood. And it was either a heart shot or a shoulder. And I was just going through all this honeysuckle, and I look up, and there he is. <laughs> yes. This deer. I don't even know if I've ever seen this deer. Oh, he is awesome. Oh, wow. I probably could have seen him fall from the stand. This is too excited. Oh man. What a pretty deer. Oh. How is that for an eight pointer? Oh, this is awesome. Oh, this just happened so fast, I think I'm still in shock. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I am a sucker for eight pointers, and this is about as pretty as they get. And where he ran, I got a long night ahead of me trying to figure out how to get him out of here, so. Self-filming is ridiculously hard if you have not tried it. But putting the tag on here. Alrighty, here he is. It has been a roller coaster of a season. I've had several close encounters, and self filming is definitely one of the hardest things I've done. And it finally, finally paid off. It's been uh, a heck of a year. Actually, it's been a heck of like 10 years since I've been able to wrap my hands around a buck. And uh, nothing's more rewarding. You know, the guys at Team Radical, they kept pushing me. I was about to give up and start duck hunting. And, uh, I'm glad they talked me out of it because this this guy came in at four o'clock, um, had a had a smaller buck. He winded me and, and got out of there and luckily he didn't know what was going on and came right into my 23 yard lane. And uh, after talking with Chris and Kyle, um, I thought I might've hit him in the shoulder, but uh, Kyle said he's either, he's either dead or you're not gonna find him. He hit him in the heart. So I went and uh, doing self-filming and did somewhat of a, a recovery and commentary but Chris is out here helping me with Zane and taking pictures for me and I could not be happier about this buck we got cold weather coming I'm glad I don't have to sit in the snow so I just want to thank everybody that's helped me along the way and I could not be happier with this deer When it comes to food plots, we're really looking for three different things. Attractiveness, longevity, and herd health. The Real World Gen 2 soybeans have four different varieties in this bag. They are the most shatter resistant soybeans on the market, which means these soybeans are gonna last you all the way through season and a lot of times well after. They also have a higher oil content, which is gonna make them a lot more attractive than most of your other soybeans out there. Having four different varieties of soybeans in this bag, we're gonna have four different maturity rates. The soybeans are packed full of protein, which is gonna help our herd health, and they're gonna last all the way through season, all the way after season, especially in those harsher conditions, and definitely provide not only for the deer, but all wildlife. They also offer a northern blend of soybeans for you guys that are in the northern states. And there's three different varieties of soybeans, and those also the most shatter resistant soybeans on the market. If you wanna learn more on the real world Gen 2 soybeans, or the northern blend soybeans, check out their website at realworldwildlifeproducts.com or find the dealer nearest you.